come and look. Look, y'all. Amazing, said Amazing from the other day. From last week, ain't it? Well, when you got it done, you got it done last Wednesday. Hmm? You got it done last Wednesday. I'm late. Mm -mm. Yes, you did. I just got it done on last Yes, week. you did. On the 11th, last week. I know that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you is late. Yeah. Very late. But I look good, thank you. You happy? Mm-hmm. If y'all like my hair, give me a uh, send me a shout out. Let me know how y'all like it. How you gonna shout you out? Y'all got no social media. They gonna shout you. They gonna shout you back out. And let you know how it looks and stuff, though. Okay. Your friend. Your friend. Um. Uh, Oh, that caused me a liar. Huh. Go ahead and eat them chips like that. You don't watch it all. Oh, uh, can yeah. I get the uh, peanut butter uh, cake? Yep. Well, oh, I couldn't get the peanut butter cake. Okay, guys. So, <laughs> we're going to do this again. Take two. I filmed this whole entire clip earlier when I was leaving my mom's house. I was talking to y'all the whole entire time on my way because I went to my dad's house after I left my mom's house and um, talk to you guys. But when I went to edit, as soon as I got home, I was trying to edit early and the clip in the car was completely terrible. Like sometimes my camera knocks against my little screen thingy that comes up for my, um, y'all know how the screen looks, but um, yeah, it knocks. I don't ever see it physically knocking, but whenever I edit, sometimes I can hear a little sound going over my voice and it's annoying. And it was really loud this time. And it was like the whole entire clip. So I was like, yeah, they're gonna be complaining. So um, just gonna pretty much say what I had to say. So y'all know, I don't ever really come on my channel and just fly off at the mouth I don't like unless I have taken like I don't care if it takes a year I don't care if it takes two years until I feel like it is the right timing to talk about stuff or to deliver information to you guys I'm not gonna do it because like I, I don't ever want to be at a place where I feel like I regret saying something because so many people are gonna see it at one time and then it's even if I delete the video or something like that, like it's just too many people who have seen it. So I usually take time to really pray about it, think about it, get advice from people I trust, yada, yada, yada. So one thing in particular, I was not going to discuss on my platform at all. Um, after going to my dad's house and blah, 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 talking and blah, 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 I did bring this up to him. My parents both watch my channel. My, both, my parents both go through my comment section and just like you guys my parents do see other videos pop up whenever like they're scrolling on my channel or whatever so one thing in particular that came up i mean my father's conversation was um my court situation and um i i think that some people feel as though like they may see like platforms such as the shade room or all these other platforms i don't follow them all but i i, I am aware of like the shade room um and they try to replicate things that they do but one thing i want to like make clear to people is that places like the shade room even the wendy williams show they they spill tea they give information but with discretion because they are very much aware of legal laws that are involved with talking about certain things even if this information is privy to public so with that being said with me not discussing something on my platform one is probably something i don't want to discuss two it is probably something that unless i have given concrete facts supporting whatever it may be um, it's probably not a wise decision to discuss these things um, and publicly uh, publicly take away from the issue. So what I will say is 
I am not going to come. I don't know if anybody thought I was going to come in here and just start spilling some tea. I will say this. The court situation, has. I, I have legal people in place in my life that take care of legal things. I don't stress. I don't fret about legal things because I have people I pay to do those things. Um, and if you find something, even if it's public record, just be mindful when you start replicating other people's information that's legal and start distorting the truth, you may also find yourself with consequences because of those actions. So I don't know if people are minors and they don't understand the law, but like I said, I do have a legal team that's in place, just like a lot of other YouTubers who I personally know who, who have shared like things that they've dealt with, with even, you know, people on their channel, other YouTubers or people in their personal life and things that they may deal with and how that works and stuff like that. Like it's the same thing for me, but this has been like, I don't know, like, I, I think the main reason why I wanted to bring it up is because at first it was kind of like, okay, here we go again with being intrusive. But to me, it was today I posted on my Insta, like, today was the best day of my life, blah, blah, blah. And I got so many people saying, oh my gosh, did you win your court case? Oh my God. And I'm like, wait, what? When did I ever talk about a court case for one? And for two, that would not be the best day of my life. Like that that has been taken care of outside of what i like i'm not even worried about that like at all and i'm not going to talk about it because this is my business and there are laws involved with things regardless if you like someone or not you can't distort the laws you can't say well i don't like keisha so i'm going to play in favor of such and such because this this is probably coulda shoulda woulda so when i say distorting the truth of evidence i mean taking evidence that you see that's public record and then making videos making posts saying things that are not even on the paperwork that is that's when you could in turn have consequences for doing stuff like that that is illegal you can't do that so like i said i'm just trying to respectfully inform you guys because i'm not with the, the drama in my on my channel i'm not with the drama in my life i'm at a very good place right now i'm at an amazing place right now and that by far is the least of my concerns like the least so it, when it became a concern or now people are literally trying to find out any little scoop they can get about a court case that has nothing to do with them it's kind of mind-boggling to me as to why someone would feel like oh this is like a respectful for me to do this even if I did get a glimpse of this like don't ask me about okay guys so <laughs> I'm in the car um, I'm about to go get some ginger ale and I was trying to edit the vlog and I got to the last part and I noticed the entire time I was talking there was like a clicking sliding noise of my camera like going on the entire time sometimes it happens whenever I put my camera behind my screen um, but this time it happened the entire clip it was so annoying I'm pretty sure so many people are gonna be like oh my gosh I can't even hear you so I decided to just scratch the clip and re-say what I had to say but anyways I went to my mom's house great over there and then I left and went to my dad's house and you know hung out with him talked to him about some stuff and everything was great everything was amazing actually and um while I was there we did have a conversation about YouTube and um I really take my parents' advice into consideration, especially when it comes to my platform. Um, not only do my parents watch my videos, like they brag about my videos to their colleagues, their their friends, other family members. And they have a lot of people watching my videos, but like I said, my parents do watch each and every video. And my dad especially reads every single comment. My mom sometimes goes through them, but my dad reads all the comments, like every single comment that is written on a video. So sometimes he sees stuff before I see it and is like, hey, delete that. Hey, do this, da, da, da. or someone had this good positive thing to say. Think about this all day, blah, blah, blah. So, oh, so, um, one thing came up because my dad had been noticing something and he was not 
really pleased with it and he asked me how I was going to you know handle the situation I told him honestly that I'm not like where I'm at right now I'm like such at a good place with everything and you know I'm deal I'm focusing on this stuff I don't even think about that but my dad explained to me when it comes to like legal stuff like there are certain things that you have to put in place or st certain things that you have to make public to cover your own track so completely understood and like my dad he's the one i go to when it comes to law when it comes to politics like my dad is like he's very in tune with stuff like that so um so anyways i'm pretty sure a lot of this is going over some people say like what are you talking about keisha because i haven't addressed it so like what are you talking about keisha so um I think like last week or something like that someone decided I don't know how who what when where and why but somebody decided I guess to get on Google and just tr start trying to figure out anything they can find out about me this is not new because people do that all the time and it's not like oh my gosh but they found something dealing with court and they decided to repost it and not only did they repost it they started making their own theories and you know accusations and, and then now other people's opinions are a part of it and then now it's like getting reposted and stuff like that and my dad was not too pleased with that because he said when it comes to legal stuff like you can't like just be having people out here just saying this because then it looks like you said it since you have this platform and that's not what you want especially since i have not even talked about it so i just wanted to make sure that i made it clear that what i discuss on my platform is always done in a timely manner it's always done when i feel it's the right time to talk about it i don't care if, if you all know a specific situation sometimes it may take me a year to have found the right words to talk about it to you guys because the type of person i am i'm not a malicious person in what like in any shape or form of fashion like i'm just not i'm actually a very positive person so whenever i do speak about stuff on my platform i don't want it to bite me in the butt i don't want it to be distasteful and i don't want it to discredit who i am as a person because you know i just don't want to have to re like regret stuff and one thing i can say is that or my dad wanted me to make clear is that people can see stuff like the shade room or wendy williams or the real and stuff like that like people who talk about tea and gossip and other people's business and blah 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 but i just i just wanted to be made aware that these people who are on these pedestals to do this they know legally what can be said and not be said about other people's business or other people's dealings um even when it comes to news that's being shared they know like okay this is we have to use discretion when it comes to this because you can get sued for talking about someone else's business even if it's public um just by slandering or falsifying information if that makes sense so my dad just wanted me to make sure that was made clear because i'm not ta i'm not i have not publicly stated any reason about anything and i have truth be told like the, the court stuff I, i'm not handling that i have a lawyer I have i have a whole team of people who handle legal stuff for me whenever there's something that comes my way i'm like here's the stuff deal with it i pay you to deal with stuff this has been getting dealt with for months like i have been perfectly fine i've been going on trips vacations and all this stuff y'all ne never knew anything about it because it's getting dealt with on the back end like I, i'm still living my life despite you know the situation because it's, it's, it's not nothing that would ever make me you know not vlog or not show my face or whatever like i told you guys in another video like me and jeremy have other stuff going on like we have something positive going on like we have we have we have good stuff actually going on we don't have no negativity and like we're not focusing on no negative like anything negative so i just like i, I love my platform so much but it's sometimes it's draining it's draining y'all i'm gonna be real it's draining sometimes because i have other people like other youtube friends who i talk i talk to i talk to other youtubers who have lawyers attorneys and you know have things that they deal with and are dealing with right now just like i'm dealing with stuff and they don't have people looking them up and outing their personal business and then having to go and now discuss something that they didn't even want to discuss in the first place but it's always like it's always me that always has to come with the negativity even when i have such positive stuff going on and it's like i just i don't want to say it's unfair 
Like, I really don't want to be, like, that type of person to be like, oh, my gosh, why me? Why always me? This is so unfair, da 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 because it can be much worse. But I do want to, like, say y'all have to be mindful of what you repost. You have to be mindful of what you say about other people's, like, legal stuff. I don't know if people are minors and they don't really know, but I do take my privacy. I do take stuff very seriously, and I, I, don't, I, I don't spare anybody anymore. So I do have, like I said, a lawyer in place that handles anything um that needs to be handled and i don't i don't speak about it on my platform and i didn't even really want to have to come on here and talk about any uh, like anything like i said i wasn't even going to bring up the court stuff at all like why because like i'm entitled to have private stuff that I, I have going on but it's it's just so unfortunate that some people are so insensitive to other people and are so oblivious um so yeah you guys that's everything um i had to say and i just hope you guys can respect the fact that i don't want to talk about something on my platform i didn't even bring it up on my platform initially it's like being forced upon me um and like i'm cool like i understand completely that comes with the territory um with being on social media i get it but that does not mean that I'm obligated to talk about stuff that I don't want to talk about. I'm in a great place in my life. I have a lot of positive stuff going on right now. I don't have any, when I say any, I have no ounce of energy to deal with anything negative at all. Like, to, I don't even want to hear it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it at all. Like, I really don't. So, um, this was more so like I said my dad wanted me to make sure I put my face on my own platform to say that I'm not talking about it I don't I'm not giving anybody else permission to talk about it spread rumors about it address something um, Make up stuff theorize like none of that. I am not doing that. So I just wanted to make sure um, Because that's just that's just the bottom line. So hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I will see you guys well, I'm gonna be a flight attendant. Um, I leave in September, so I got two more months to. So what to exact day do you come back? Uh, well, the training is is a month in Dayton, Ohio. I gotta keep I'm that. I'm not gonna in say mind. the airline because I want to vlog and stuff about it, and they said that.